Good evening. This is All India Radio Kohima. I am Kuku with the evening news. The headlines. Prime Minister Modi says every day and every moment must be utilized for nation building. Union Minister Amit Shah inaugurates Mega Dairy in Karnataka. All manufacturing activities of Marion Biotech's Noida unit have been stopped after in- inspection. And India surpasses notable landmark of 1.50 lakh Ayushman Bharat Health and Wellness Centers across the country. Now, the news in detail. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today joined a series of programs in West Bengal via video conferencing. The programs included the launch of key connectivity-related projects and the meeting of the National Ganga Council. He virtually flagged off Vande Bharat Express from Howrah Railway Station connecting Howrah to New Jepalguri. Speaking on the occasion, Prime Minister said the central government is making record investment to modernize the Indian railways. Now, modern trains like the Vande Bharat Express, Tejas Express and the Hamsafar Express are being made in India. Modi said, in the next eight years, the country will see railways on a new journey of modernization. The Prime Minister said that every moment must be utilized for nation building. He also inaugurated the Joka Taratala stretch of Joka Esplanade Metro Project, Purple Line of Kolkata Metro. At another program, Prime Minister Modi also attended the meeting of the National Ganga Council in Kolkata, West Bengal, via video conferencing. The National Ganga Council has been given the overall responsibility for the superintendence of pollution prevention and rejuvenation of River Ganga and its tributaries. Union Home and Cooperation Minister Amit Shah has said that in three years, two lakh primary milk dairies will be opened at the panchayat level across the country to benefit milk producers and make India a leading milk producer and exporter. He was speaking at a public gathering in Mandya today after inaugurating a mega dairy in Karnataka. The Home Minister assured the cooperative milk producers of all technical assistance from the cooperative ministry. Karnataka Chief Minister Basavaraj Bomai, Union Minister Prala Joshi, former Prime Minister Devi Gauda and other dignitaries were present on the occasion. All manufacturing activities of Marion Biotech at Noida Unit have been stopped in view of reports of contamination in cough syrup DOC-1 Max. Union Health Minister Dr. Mansuk Mandavia said the action has been taken after the inspection by Central Drugs Standard Control Organization, CDSCO team, following the reports of death of children in Uzbekistan after consuming the syrup. He said further investigation is underway. Earlier, the government had sent the samples of Marion Biotech's cough syrup to Regional Drugs Testing Laboratory in Chandigarh for testing. A joint inspection of Marion Biotech's Noida facility was carried out by UP Drug Control and the CDSCO team. Government has said that more than 134 crore people across the country have benefited so far from Ayushman Bharat Health and Wellness Centers. Union Health Ministry said overall, more than 86 crore beneficiaries have been screened for non-communicable diseases. This includes around 30 crore for hypertension, over 25 crore for diabetes, over 17 crore for oral cancer, and over 8 crore for breast cancer. Union Health Minister Mansuk Mandavia said that India has surpassed a notable landmark of 1.50 lakh Ayushman Bharat Health and Wellness Centers across the country. He said, these centers are transforming the delivery of comprehensive primary health care services, which are universally free and cater to all age groups. At Ayushman Bharat Health and Wellness Centers, over 8 crore 50 lakh teleconsultations have been done through e-Sanjeevni. Nearly 4 lakh teleconsultations take place daily. This news is being broadcast from All India Radio Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News On Air app and YouTube channel AIR News Kohima. The last rites of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's mother, Hira Ben, were performed at Mukti Dham Crematorium in Gandhinagar this morning. She passed away early this morning at a hospital in Ahmedabad. She was 100 years old. Prime Minister Narendra Modi and other family members performed her last rites. In an emotional tweet, the Prime Minister said that a glorious century now rests at the feet of God. 
Paying tribute to his mother, Mr. Modi said that he felt the presence of a trinity in his mother, which symbolizes the journey of an ascetic, a selfless karma yogi, and a life dedicated to values. President Draupadi Murmu and Vice President Jagdeep Dhankar have offered condolences at the demise of the Prime Minister's mother, Hira Ben. In a message, President Murmu termed Hira Ba's 100 years of struggling life as a symbol of India's ideals. The Vice President said Hira Ben exemplified simplicity and sublimity, reflecting the virtuosity of motherhood. Political leaders from across the country have expressed grief at the demise of the Prime Minister's mother, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh, Union Home Minister Amit Shah, INB Minister Anurag Singh Thakur are among those who expressed grief over Hira Ben's demise. Condolences have also started pouring in from across the world. Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida was one of the first world leaders to offer condolences to Prime Minister Modi. In a tweet, Kishida expressed his deepest condolences at the passing away of Hira Ben Modi. Today is the sixth anniversary of indigenously developed payment application BHIM, Bharat Interface for Money. It was launched on this day in 2016 by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. BHIM is a biometric payment system using the Aadhaar platform and is based on Unified Payment Interface, UPI, to facilitate e-payments directly through bank. It can be used on all mobile devices, be it a smartphone or a feature phone, with or without internet connection. The payments through the BIM app can be made by just a thumb impression after the bank account is linked with Aadhaar Gateway. UPI transaction has gained traction over the year. UPI transaction value for the month of November this year was 11.90 lakh crore rupees, while the transaction volume was 7.30 billion. The National Commission for Women has issued an advisory to chief secretaries of all the states and union territories to direct all the coaching and educational institutions to take effective steps for the prevention of sexual harassment of female students. Talking to AIR News, NCW Chairperson Rekha Sharma informed this. The Commission also stressed to ensure the Coaching centers are registered with the relevant authorities and a background check be conducted on those responsible for running the centers. Information and Broadcasting Minister Anurag Singh Thakur expressed happiness that Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav is being marked by Serbia through a specially designed postal stamp. In a tweet, Thakur called it a reflection of the global recognition and expanding Indian soft power. India-Australia Economic and Cooperation Trade Agreement, ECTA, has come into force. The agreement will provide duty-free access to a number of Indian goods across different sectors in Australia, benefiting the Indian manufacturing industries and also creating 10 lakh jobs. Over 1 lakh Indian students will also benefit from post-study work visa, AIR correspondent reports that addressing the press in Mumbai, Union Minister for Industry and Commerce Piyush Goyal said it's a win-win situation where India will get cheaper raw materials which will help the country in becoming more competitive to serve the world market and also help the local market with better quality goods with affordable prices, providing a good job opportunity in goods, merchandise and services in India. To end the news, here are the headlines once again. Prime Minister Modi says every day and every moment must be utilized for nation building. Union Minister Amit Shah inaugurates Mega Dairy in Karnataka. All manufacturing activities of Marion Biotech's Noida unit have been stopped after inspection. And India surpasses notable landmark of 1.50 lakh Ayushman Bharat Health and Wellness Centers across the country. This is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.